First up, Amande Atelier. A lot of these are going to be butchered. I'll put it on the screen. Shoes. I have found these twice at buy sell trade stores. Um, the shoes range anywhere from like 150 up to maybe 500. I saw once. They have a pretty wide range, but very sexy shoes, uh, stilettos. They have some platforms, and I've only found it, like I said, at uh, two separate a uh, two separate crossroads, which is a buy sell trade store that I believe is nationwide. Next is ALC. I find this brand very often. Um, I find it at the bins, the thrift store. I find it everywhere. They have a couple of, uh, I don't know if it's called a distribution center or a factory, like where they store their clothing here um, where I live in Southern California, but I find it quite a bit. Usually the pieces I find are very old pieces. This brand has been around for a while. Um, they do work wear, they do casual wear. I did make a list, friends, so that I can give you all the info. I do the best selling their dresses and their coats. Um, I actually picked up one of their coats from the Goodwill outlet. I paid like $2.40 because it was really heavy. The coat had to be like one or two pounds. As soon as I start filming, my phone rings. If you're an oldie but a goldie, you know the running joke there. And you already know <laughs> who's calling me. But, um... That coat sold for $80, you guys. And the thing about this brand is you can't pick up everything. Like, I find a lot of the workwear stuff doesn't move for me like it used to. And, like, even the coats are not all the same. Like, just because you find an ALC coat doesn't mean you should pick it up. A lot of times I will find on the tag, do I find the style number? I find something that helps me to look up the comps. Long story short, like I always say, check comps on everything if you can. But definitely this brand, I think it's worth it because it is really saturated. And I tend to sell it all on eBay. I don't know if I've ever sold anything ALC on Poshmark. I'll actually have to check. But most most of it sells for me on eBay. APC, this is a brand I actually discovered for the first time at the bins two or three years ago. I was filming the day I went to the bins and I showed you guys the coat. Maybe it was like a year and a half ago. I think it was closer to two years. I actually resold a coat, another coat from the Goodwill Outlet. I love picking up coats, you guys, at the Goodwill Outlet that are in somewhat de decent condition. They don't have to be like great condition, depending on the brand, because it's so affordable. You know, at the bins, I'm not paying more than $3 per item. Um, and here where I live, if the brand is even like somewhat remotely good, they mark coats up. Like they'll start them at 20 bucks and they can go up from there. Like I recently, went into a Goodwill and they had like a Banana Republic coat marked at like $45. So it's so nice to get them at the Goodwill outlet. APC picked it up for the first time ever, had never saw that tag before, had never even heard of the brand before. So she goes to show you, you guys, I've been doing this a very long time and there's still like hundreds of brands that I have no idea they exist. And this coat, it did take a year to sell, but it sold for $100. So definitely be on the lookout a brand a brand it's a I'll put it on the screen the tag is on here somewhere I've recently sold their skirts they make really beautiful skirts um, I picked it up at Crossroads you're gonna notice that some of these brands that I sell for a higher profit or higher sales price some of them come from a buy sell trade store I always tell you guys I source everywhere I source online I source at the Goodwill outlet I source at thrift stores and I source at buy sell trade stores. I tend to do better finding those mid tier to high end items from the buy sell trade store and sourcing there more often has really started to teach me brands that I had never even heard of, I didn't know existed and that's one of those brands, a brand, case in point. Had never heard of it, never seen it and I picked it up at a buy sell trade store. Well, Adam Selman Sport, very sporty clothing, like sexy sporty clothing. It's like a sexy version of aloe, but um, the fabric feels really nice and um, high end. Uh, I was that was I was super excited to find that at a Goodwill because that's actually a brand that I have heard of. Below the belt, a very luxe, um, high end, high quality belts. I like the play on words there. Below the belt found it at a thrift store and I also found it at a crossroads. One of my favorite buy sell trade stores you guys is Crossroads. We have quite a bit of them here in Los Angeles. 
and I tend to find them when I travel a lot and I usually score at least one or two pieces of course when I'm filming the recycle man is here please barefoot dreams this is a brand that I have literally sourced every way you can think of. I've gotten it in pallets, I found it at the bins, the traditional Goodwill buy sell trade stores. A lot of people say like this brand doesn't sell for them anymore. I do amazing. I literally found, I was filming, I actually posted a short video about it. I found a um, Barefoot Dreams, a pink cardigan and a purple cardigan. They were right next to each other, the same size. Somebody must have, it must have been from the same person. One of them sold in a live sale. The other one sold within a week of me listing it, you guys. So, and surprisingly, they actually both sold for the same price. I think it was like $35. So, I love it. I don't find it a ton, but when I do find it and I list it or I show it in a live sell, it literally sells so quickly. It, and I get it. I had never really worn Barefoot Dreams myself, but when you feel the cardigan, it literally feels like a soft, cozy blanket that you're wearing. Beach Bunny and Beach Riot, I'm gonna kinda combine these because they're very trendy um, swimwear, like swimwear and swim clothing brands. I first learned about this brand when I bought my Revolve palette way back, way back. That feels like an eternity ago. I bought my first ever liquidation palette and it was a Revolve palette and I got, I wanna say like 10 Beach, I got 10 Beach Riot and like a couple beach bunny pieces and they were so popular and they sold very quickly so definitely brands to be on the lookout for i have seen beach bunny at uh the traditional goodwill and at uh crossroads which is about i need to just say buy sell trade store because i know not all of you have crossroads near you a lot of these brands i'm mentioning i should say and i tell i say this in all of my brand videos if you haven't seen them i've done videos on brands I'm looking out for, brands I no longer sell. I also did, a, I think, a really helpful video on selling mall brands um, because a lot of you will say, well, I never see these brands, like, or I don't have a crossroads and I don't have, you know, I don't live here and I don't have great thrifting. You can source a lot of this stuff online, you guys. You need to be very smart about your profit margins. You need to check comps, but you're at home. You're sitting at the couch. You're sitting at your desk. Like, you have time and you can check comps, but a lot of this stuff you can source online if you don't have of, you know great thrifting or great buy sell trade stores near you Bondi Born makes some beautiful dresses look it up I found two dresses one at a traditional thrift store one at a buy sell trade store and they sold like that a lot of these sales I will tell you where they sold those dresses sold on eBay I don't I've never, I don't even think I've listed it on Poshmark ever, but I've only found it twice and they literally sold so quickly. Breda, Breda, this is a new to me brand. I actually picked this up. I tell you guys this all the time. I pick up everything. I sell golf clubs. I sell handbags. I sell jewelry. This is a uh, watch brand that I was just at a traditional Goodwill and you know they keep all the jewelry like at least here they keep it behind a glass case and I saw the watch and I was like that looks like a nice watch I think their watches retail I don't know watch aficionados might think this is cheap but their watches retail anywhere from like 200 and up um, but I just saw it and I was like that looks like a very trendy nice watch so they only I they must have not known the brand. They had it priced at five bucks. It was working, there was no issues. I flipped it on eBay for $75. So I wanted to throw something in that's not traditional clothing, but um, I feel like we should do a separate video on just like my favorite categories to sell in because I love selling clothing, you guys, but some of my favorite categories to sell in have nothing to do with clothing. Like recently, I've fallen in love with selling cookware. It is so easy to photograph and a lot of the cookware I find, I'm talking about like baking dishes, pots, pans, they're not that hard to ship. You just need to, you know, pat them up really well and it's great. And some of this stuff that I find is like stuff that's selling within a month or less. I really like it. So we could do a separate video on that. Next, Blanca. Um, I've sold a lot of their casual wear. So I sold a skirt from them and then also like this casual top. I think this brand is sold at Nordstrom, Revolve, places like that. Um, I've actually found this brand everywhere. I found a, I think it was a swimsuit at the bins. I found a dress at Goodwill and I found the skirt at Crossroads. So 
a brand that I actually have some experience with. A lot of these I'm like, I've never heard of this and I sold it. So this one, I do have a couple years experience. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Danny, I think it's Danny Joe. It should be that simple. Amazing dresses, beautiful gowns, absolutely stunning, beautiful. But I have nothing else to say. And I found it at a Goodwill and a buy sell trade store a couple of times. I've sold about like seven dresses from Danny Joe. This brand, high-end gowns. Like I'm talking the gowns start at $1,000 and go from there. And like the $1,000 is like the low end. It is David Coma. I found this brand once retail arbitrage at Nordstrom Rack, which I don't even know if they sell this brand at Nordstrom. It was literally, you know how Nordstrom Rack will have like a surplus of one brand, like they'll have ALC and they'll have Good American. It was literally one gown just sitting there sparkling. It was so beautiful. And I was like, what is that? What is it doing here? They had it priced at $300. It was new. It wasn't a customer return. I sold that for $800, which is still a good deal for that brand. So. Um, I found it once there and then I also found it once at a buy sell trade store but they had it priced like crazy like $700 um, and I looked up the style and the only there was one comp for that exact style and it had sold for $1,000 so I decided to pass on that but it's still at the store I'm keeping my eye on it because as you know buy sell trade stores if things don't sell they mark them down at least mine do they start marking it down and uh, usually they just go straight to half off so I'll keep you posted on that. Di Pezza. Di Pezza? Another one I'm sure I'm butchering. Uh, dresses and skirts are specifically what I have sold. All of these brands I'm telling you about, I have sold them. I should have said that in the beginning. By the way, if you're new here and you've made it this far, my name is Nikki. Consider subscribing. We're close to 17,000 subscribers. I would love to have you. I upload these longer form videos a couple times a week, but I also up upload like short form 60 second or less videos, tips, tricks, what's selling, what I'm buying, literally almost every day. So subscribe because I am here all the time. Um, so dresses and skirts, very expensive. D Petza, love it. Uh, Dodi, Dodi, I'll put it on the screen. Same thing as D Petza, have sold this brand a handful of times. Dresses, skirts, that's what my experience is. Definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. This is one of the brands, Diamond Cross Ranch, um, that I have experience selling their t-shirts. A lot of their t-shirts that I look up, they retail for like 50 bucks, so not a ton, but they have a following. And I have found this brand at the bins like four times. I looked at my sales, I think four times. So I paid, uh, it, and these were older, so this was before they increased the price at our bins. So I paid like $1.50 each, let's just say that, because it was like somewhere in that range. And they sold so fast, you guys. So it's a very popular brand right now. And this was a while ago, almost a year ago, but they sell pretty fast for me. So if you can get a good deal on them, just keep in mind if you find the t-shirts, like they're usually retail anywhere from $40 to $50. So it's not something that you may not want to pay like $15, $20 for. Uh, Dion Lee, very, very trendy stuff. I actually own a couple pieces from this brand myself. It's very expensive, very trendy, and I have only found this at a buy sell trade store. I've never found it ever at a Goodwill. Gouge, gouge, gauge, gauge 81. I've sold coats from them three times and all three of them I found at a traditional Goodwill somewhere in the Hizzud. Like this place, <laughs> I'm just being honest. Some of the best stuff I found, I don't know. I've what I'm trying to say is, without offending anyone, is that a lot of people will say, well, you should go and thrift in the really nice areas, in the like really fancy, rich areas. Like that's where you're gonna find all the great stuff. And sometimes that is true, you guys, but sometimes I have literally found some of the most high-end stuff in the not so nice neighborhoods. So sometimes it is true and sometimes it's not. You just gotta do what you're comfortable with and figure it out. I will literally go sourcing anywhere, especially when I used to sell on Amazon, you guys. I would find myself in some very skeeved out looking places, like a hole in the wall, mom and pop liquor store, and I'm in there scanning like the hemorrhoid cream to flip it on Amazon. <laughs> like I don't go anywhere to source. So that's like my mentality. So. I say that with like, of course, do stuff you're comfortable with, but 
tangent to say I found this brand at a nice so not so nice neighborhood thrift store and it was an amazing flip I think I made like a $300 profit and they only had them because they didn't know the brand they only had it marked at $10 house of sunny another brand I love selling their jackets I have found it at the thrift store and buy sell trade store um I'm trying to think where else have I seen this brand? I've seen it when I was like just browsing at a department store, but I can't remember which one it was. Helsa? Helsa? Elsa? I'm sure I'm butchering it. H-E-L-S-A. I've sold their jackets like eight times and I've only found them um, online sourcing. Where was I? Here's a little sourcing tidbit for all of my friends that um, have maybe not great sourcing where you live. A lot of times, you guys, there are online stores that are kind of like, think like um, like a thread up, but it's like for a small local boutique. So let's say you live in Jacksonville, Florida, and ABC Boutique has a little shop where people can donate or you can do consignment, and they start a website um, to also sell their things online. So a lot of times these like obscure brands that I find, I'm literally Googling like a, a trendy boutique in Tampa or trendy boutique in Hoboken, New Jersey, because as I've traveled for work, I've like seen these places and I'm like, I wonder if they have a website where I could buy things online. So I save them to my favorites and I go and check these places like once a week online and that's my online sourcing. So that's a little tip from me to you. Maybe as you travel and you go shop in stores, pay attention, ask if they have a website. Where was I? It was in Scottsdale. Was it Scottsdale? I took you guys there, I filmed. It was an uptown cheapskate. Uh, Peoria somewhere in Arizona we were there for a wedding it was like a couple months ago you can go watch the video it was an uptown cheapskate and she said when I checked out she was like oh um we were chatting you guys know I'll chat to anybody she knew I was there for a wedding and I told her I was from LA and she was like we sell things online so like if you ever want to check our website and we ship to you I would have never thought oh this uptown cheapskate well actually I let me not say that I know that um, a lot of uh, buy sell trade stores also sell things online they sell things on Instagram I've know I've told you guys about this so think kind of think outside of the box you guys I always tell you you can be a reseller many ways you can be a reseller that never goes out and sources in person and you just source um, online so it's a little tip buy sell trade stores little boutiques all these places a lot of them have websites a lot of them will sell to you that way I've actually sourced from a buy sell trade store it's not a chain in New York City they don't sell things online but they just put them on their website to promote them and I called them and I said can I just buy that bag and pay for shipping and they did it you guys so gotta think outside of the box all right rant over Hunza G this is another brand that I've received always at the bins in liquidation pallets um, at buy sell trade stores and traditional all the ways I love this brand swimwear very trendy very sexy and sells very fast a lot of it literally just looks like a strap across the boob I'm not gonna lie I'm like this is literally a piece of fabric that would cover one nip and that's it and it like sells for $80 Juliet, very expensive swimwear brand. Had never heard of this brand until a year ago when I saw it at a buy, buy, sell, trade store. Very expensive. And then Erin Snow. This is a brand, again, had never heard of until two years ago. I was at the Goodwill outlet. I always tell you guys, if you're an oldie but a goldie, you know I'm always saying, like, don't sleep on the activewear. And when I say activewear, a lot of newbie people are like, oh, you mean like Lululemon and Aloe? No, I mean like the stuff you wear to be active. Snow pants, ski pants, snow boots, fishing boots, fishing rods. Maybe you're not in the hard goods. Let me reel it back to clothing. Fishing vest, uh, ski pants, like all of those activewear things that you need to wear to do those outdoorsy sports can resell for a ton, you guys, because they are so expensive. Myself, for example, we uh, like to hike, like hike, hike, like 10 mile hikes, 15 mile hikes, and we needed um, hiking boots. Hiking boots because we have very large feet. I have a size 10, my fiance is a size 15 wide. Our feet are huge, you guys. Our hiking boots, like we were finding at REI, were like 200 bucks, like starting price. I think we found some for like 100, but they didn't even fit our feet because we have huge feet. So 
I went on eBay and Poshmark and found new Columbia hiking boots for $80. Um, so this stuff is expensive. So that Aaron Snow brand, go and look it up, you guys. Their snow pants are like over a hundred bucks. They make ski coats that retail for a couple hundred bucks. I actually found it at the Goodwill outlet and a traditional Goodwill. And it's very trendy, cute, like snow stuff that I feel like you would see on Instagram or something. So don't sleep on that. I hope this video was helpful in some way. I feel like I was yammering at you a lot, but I try to put as much information in these as possible. Don't forget to check out the other brand videos. A lot of you are new here. I make a lot of videos, friends, and I've already done like five or six videos where I did 50 brands or more. So if you are interested, I will link those down below. And I try not to repeat brands. Like all of these brands that I've told you about, um, a lot of them are more pricey brands and you might have to do some hunting for them, but I've never featured any of these brands. I keep a running list, so I try not to repeat. Um, so yeah, if you want to check those out, go ahead. Let me know if you guys like this type of video. I think you do. And I will see you soon.